They might both be the same thing, but <laughs> okay. <laughs> one on will work. Well, I got you one. covered. Okay. It looks like yeah. They said they wanted to go out to Old Lace out right. there, so yeah. we'll get it out there. Okay, thank you. Thank you, much. hon. Good afternoon folks. I have a treat for you today. This is for all you people who like these Land Cruisers, these Toyotas. This is a 1967. She's got a few little scratches and dents on her, but she's in really good shape. The old boy that owns her, he parked her for the summer, I mean for the winter, I'm sorry. And he went to start it up today and just didn't want to do her. So he's gonna take it over to his buddy's shop and have his buddy go through it, make sure it's all gonna be good for him so he can drive it this summer. But I know these Toyota Land Cruisers have a really big following. A lot of dedicated people that like these things. That's a pretty neat old truck. Especially since it's a 67 model. She's old. And it's got the original three speed on the column. Pretty cool truck. Myself, I've never been into them, but I've always been into the Chevys and Dodges full of drives, but everybody their own. Anyway, I figured you guys might like to see this thing today. Pretty cool little truck. Thank you.
season? Uh, is there a Brian that works here? A Brian? Brian? Uh, what's the last name? I have not a clue. We have two Brian's. Well, the guy gave me the for number. For a car? Uh, for an old Land Cruiser, like a Jeep, like, like a, a Jeep? 67 model. He gave me his number. I tried. You didn't bring any with me. Um, I think you can find him in the back. Um, I'm not exactly sure where you'd have to pull over, but I can probably mm. show you where he's at. And maybe he can help you from there. Okay. Um, could we share this warehouse? Oh, do you really? Yeah, we have two Brian. So Brian, um, like owns like the company here, and then there's another Brian that I'm assuming works on the cars back here. Um. Big old warehouse. Oh, yeah. Oh, you guys are into computers into this place. Oh, yeah. We fixed a bunch of those. Oh, is that what you do is fix computers? Mm -hmm. Um, let's see. Uh, Brian? Yeah. Okay. That's the guy you're probably looking for. Thank you, hon. I yeah, appreciate it. No Thank you. Mm -hmm. Hey, bud, I got an old 67 uh, Toyota Land Cruiser right here for you. That's a good looking old truck, too. Yeah. <laughs> Where would you like it at? It doesn't it. run, so... And uh, it doesn't push very well either. Yeah, I know. Uh, it's a little muddy back there, but I, I get in and out all right. You have to go round. Can we go out the back door and look here? Yeah. Yeah, because in that big flatbed, they don't get around very well in the mud. Yeah, he's supposed to call me and tell me if he was bringing it in tonight. I was going to move these cars around. <laughs> Oh yeah, I can't get that back here, bud. You can't? Yeah, that thing I think quick. Uh Okay. Yeah, you can just look at the ground here where you um, Yeah, it's been raining for Oh months. yeah, and it's still raining now. Yeah. You're um, talking a whole lot of weight. Let's uh see if we can put it up in the parking lot there and I'll have to get somebody to when it dries out a little bit, tow it down. Well, see, he know. said he thinks a starter, but it might somebody might be able to put a jump box on it because it's been setting. It might be able to just it's get it fired up for over a year. Yeah, just I'm sure the battery ain't no good. Oh, it's brand new battery a year ago. So yeah, a year ago. But he hasn't done anything no. with it. He was supposed to drive it around and everything, right? And then bring it back. Well, I said somebody could probably jump it off and probably get it running, uh, and then drive it in okay, wherever you need to. Find a place to put it for Okay. Oh, I gotta look at your old Thunderbird while I'm sitting here. Yeah, it's an icon. Look at this old thing. What year is this Thunderbird? 65. 6 volts. Look at this bad boy. 65 Thunderbird. That's Don't see those anymore. It hasn't run for about 15, 20 years. Just been setting? Well, you know, on, honestly, it would be a lot of fun to drive, but would you want to drive that thing? Yeah. So somebody else can tear it up for you. Uh-oh, that don't sound good. So I'm ain't happy. Is it this one? Huh? Is it this one? It's this one. Usually if you stick the key in the door and turn them, it shuts the alarms off. Like you're unlocking it or locking it. Because I was going to move these cars around. So right. Get this thing in. Yeah, that's a pretty neat old truck, you know. Oh, I'm up in front by the office up here. Oh, we got you. Okay. I mean, I'm right outside the front main door there. Yeah, we'll find somewhere to put it and I'll worry about it tomorrow. All right. Well, will they let you drop it one of these bays for the evening? You wouldn't really want that thing sitting out there. Yeah. 
But being over here in Olathe, you probably ain't got to worry about it too much. No, it's pretty secure around here, I believe. Anyway, man, because they can't steal it. But I imagine if you come out here with a jump box or a battery charge or something, you'd probably be able to start it and get it up out of here. Yeah, I've got a jumper, I'll do it. Maybe bring a little gas, which you put in the carburetor. And... Yeah. Uh, can you stick it over here alongside this red one? Yeah, I can do that. You want me back in, just kind of dump it up in the yard a little bit, or? Yeah, yeah, or just dump it here. In front of that trailer? Yeah, I don't know whose trailer that is. Yeah, it ain't going to work on flats. Yep. Get right in here, you can... Yeah, look at this, this thing's all water. Yeah. That big old heavy truck could tear the hell out of that ground. <laughs> Alright, yeah, I'll back up here and drop it. Well, here, uh, let me give you these, because I don't need them to move it around. Okay. Uh, you go around here, you can pull in here. Right. And then drop it I got you. Yeah, there's a little door now. I may just have to take it in and put it on charge. Yeah, let's see if we can get a jump real quick. 
might have to pump the dog out of the fuel pump pump, but. Go ahead, bud, whenever you're ready. It's in gear. So you might want to hop in and push your clutch in. Start popping the dog out of it. Oh hell, hold on. Got anything? Well, something else is going on then. Yeah. Alright, well, that was worth an idea. We can always hook a chain to it and drag it around the parking lot. <laughs> yeah. Till it started. It's uh. Oh, look, look at that gas bowl. Yeah, that's got a blue screen in it. Really? Yeah. It's got a little blue screen in there and it tells you where the level is and you can see it reflects back on there. That's too neat. <laughs> mm. Actually, it'd be a fun old truck. Well, I'm glad I got to meet you. Have fun with your toy here. <laughs> oh, I've not got me. I've got, I've got 16 of them in there. <laughs> no, that's right. Yeah, I, I I I put this back in gear before you left. It. I did. Yep. Thank you. You'd hate that. You'd hate to see this old truck running into this new car over here or something. You know. Yeah. Have a good one, bud.